smoking, baby. Cone, So basically what we have here is the uh, part two of the old fraternal twins. Uh, nothing special at all. Just a simple old GK200-V. A uh, high drive. I say high drive because it's a variable. You know, you don't want to drive it too hard. This is good for a driver. Built more to be a driver standalone box. Standalone or a driver. But, uh... Yeah, two Toshiba dots. And basically what the deal with this is, is Mr. Pizza Man sent a Galaxy 98 VHP. And it had a four transistor board in the bottom of it, okay? And he instructed me to remove the four transistor board and remove the Toshibas from it. Which that will be a separate video. I think I may even have lost a clip or two, but... But basically, in that video, there was basically the, the, the collectors were not soldered down real well. I'm surprised that four transistor board was even working good. You'll see in that video, though. But anyway, so here are the two remaining uh, Toshibas out of there. You got a uh, gain of 26 and 29. We'll be sending that back to Pizza Man. And the remaining two, you wanted me to build them a little uh, GK200 out of it. Went with the black uh, theme. Of course, from this point on, I don't know if I ever quit. We're always going to give a major shout out to Mister D One O One Two Three, Mister Danny One Two Three, the first guy I ever saw painting his boards. 
And I'd rather have them painted than sitting there copper oxidizing. And I'll never forget one day when I sat there and saw one of my original five pills I ever built like nine, ten years ago. And that thing was green, patina all over the place, little like little green moss growing all over the board. I say, yee! I don't like the way that looks, man. I don't want none of my boards ever looking like that in the future. So I'm going to be painting or at least doing some clear something. <laughs> but this is just a Class C uh, box. It's got a SSB delay. I'd rather have a delay in there in case somebody tries to run it on side, man. At least they got a delay where they can. Um, I'll say like I did in the other video, I'm all about biasing for guys that are deep in the sideband use. Um, there ain't nothing wrong running this box on, on 11 meter sideband. I mean, as long as you got a good clean radio, I mean, all the noise is out there on the bands, but it's best to go with biasing if you are able. If you're going, especially if you're going to be a hardcore sideband operator. If you're going to go up above to 10 meters, Something like that, 10, 12, 15, whatever, you got to be biased. You do not really want to go up there. Of course you can, but the rules is you need to sound as linear and clear as possible when you're out there on the hand bands. So it's best to be biased. And of course, to have your spurious emissions down an acceptable level. We, with that, that's not about this video. This is just a good old fashioned, good old, good old boy two pill. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's click the screen. Anyway, let's just run through this pretty quick. I didn't showed you the input reflect is very good. Uh, the feed through is perfect. And I already showed you the PEP is doing 250 watts, about 80 bird, which is right there in line with what these amps should be doing with the amount of drive I'm doing. So now we're just going to take the small bench radio out. Let me move this this way. Since this coax is not long enough. And we will hook up the Stickman Cover 29, which has his mystery transistor. I don't know if anybody ever figured out what transistor he was using before he passed. They, if they did, I don't know. But uh, doing about 8 watts RMS, about 30, 40 peaks, somewhere around there. So, that's what we're going to do now. Before I even key this thing, I like to make sure it's hooked up good. We got a little bit of swing going on. Oh, okay. She's hooked up. Variable's all the way up. This is what she is yielding, yielding us. Oh, I almost forgot. Need to take the 250 out and put my 500 in. There we go. So this is PEP. 500 watt slug. Go. Oh, very nice. Come on, man. There we go. We ain't supposed to have any uh, focusing issues now with this high dollar phone. Go. Oh, you can pretty much call that 500 because we just letting this mop fly. What's it doing when we talking, though, man? Oh! Old gatekeeper out there just letting a mop flop around four to four fifty. Got how <laughs> RMS a little bit about one sixty, a little bit above. Oh, yeah. Hook it on a better supply, you'll be about two hundred. Give it a little bit more drive, you'll be over two hundred watts RMS. We're just hitting it with radios here. Just want to show you that the amp's doing what it should do. Got yeah, output capacitor. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with getting a little cute every once in a while, but hey, I always remember if it looks good but don't work good, it ain't worth nothing. We ain't in this show just trying to make things for looks. We need them to work as good as they look and last for longevity. So we're done. We'll come back with the top on. And we'll be done, my, 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 my buddy out there in Florida. Hope you enjoy this, buddy. And thank you so much for having that Superman-type patience. This guy right here has done a lot for me. God bless you, dude. You have done a lot for me, and I am so grateful for it. I am so grateful for it. Thanks for hanging in there, buddy. Well, 
There she goes. Looking good. Can't wait to get the, uh, you know, my partner, my business partner, or you can call him my business partner, uh, the guy that owned the auto collision center, he uh, retired. So he's also had some, some issues health-wise. He had a, um, had a heart attack, and he's had to have some heart surgery and stuff. Man. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying for him big time cause, uh, for his health and everything. But I was hoping to be able to get his paint shop up at his house back up and going within about six months. But I don't know that that may be a little longer. So until then, I'm uh, paint, painting some of these things as good as I can. These are just side jobs and everything. But anyway, top song. So that's what it was doing with a 250. I'm on the bench radio, so it was really doing about 250, 300 watts. So she's ready to go, man. Hope this bad boy right here lasts you from here on out. I pray over this thing in the name of Jesus for this thing to stay working as, as much as possible and it be used to... To, to have good, clean fun on the airwaves. And I pray that this thing right here brings many joy to your life and other people's lives as well. Amen. Ain't that hard, yo. Talk to the big man that sits on the circle of the universe. You never know. He could just hear you. Well, I was about to say 73s with my fingers, but I'm holding the phone. <laughs> So we're just going to say, peace. God bless y'all. I'm going. Old gatekeeper out here just enjoying life the best way I can on my way up to getting called up. Can't wait to, can't wait to feel how it feels to owe no man nothing but honesty. And we're gone. Bye-bye.